grace and peace. Dear brothers and sisters, welcome to the reflection on the fourth week of Easter. In the readings for this week, we have the first reading from the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 14 and 36 to 41, where Saint Peter preaches to the crowd after being filled with the Holy Spirit. And we have the responsorial psalm from Psalm 23, uh, a very well-known and favorite psalm for all of us. The Lord is my shepherd. And the gospel reading is from John chapter 10, verse 1 to 10. The Good Shepherd. This Sunday is also called the Good Shepherd Sunday. So what is, what is the Lord speaking to us through the liturgy of this week? What is the message we have to take home? From the first reading, we hear Saint Peter speaking to all of us. And the core, if we listen carefully to that reading, the core of that message is Acts chapter 2 verse 38, where the people asks Peter, what are we to do? And Saint Peter answers. He tells us, you must repent. Now, this message is for all of us. When we, when we hear those words, those piercing words, you must repent. We know we have to, this means we have to look at our lives a bit more seriously. Where am I going? Am I going in the right direction? And repentance, we know it's a change of heart or a turning back. And let us all this week again analyze our lives. Look at ourselves. Are we going in the right direction? Am I going? There are only two paths. Either we are going closer and closer to the Lord daily or we may be straying from His path. So it's an invitation for all of us to again consider our movements, our steps and to retrace our steps towards the Lord. This brings us to the responsorial psalm in the Gospel where the Lord says, I am the Good Shepherd and the sheep that belongs to me listen to my voice. Dear brothers and sisters, let us again this Sunday, once again, look at Jesus, the Good Shepherd, who leads us, who is so faithful to us, who looks after us, who cares for us, who goes on ahead of us, beyond all the problems of life, our sins, our failings, our depressions, our weaknesses, above all this, our Good Shepherd lifts us, finds us when we are lost, comes searching for us when we stray, bandages our wounds, never tires of carrying us on our shoulders, safe in his arms to the Father's house. Praise God.